The Security Plus from CompTIA should be your first security certification. So if you want to become a hacker, ethical of course, or a network admin, cloud engineer, Linux admin, security engineer, pretty much if you want to be in IT, the Security Plus should be pretty high on your list. But why? It teaches you the essential baseline security skills you need for any IT job role, especially if you want to go into security or hacking. This is your first stop. So with that being said, this is episode zero of my free Security Plus course. No gimmicks, completely free. We're launching a free episode each week. Now, two big things real quick. First, there is a new Security Plus exam that's releasing in November. So in this video, we'll talk about, hey, what's new? Should I wait for the new one or keep going with the old one? And shout out to CompTIA for sponsoring this video. And two, I'm not doing the Security Plus course alone. In fact, two of the best IT instructors in the world are helping me create this course. So I'm happy to announce that I'm collaborating with David Bombal and Jeremy Chara to create this course. We're gonna combine all our skills to make the best course we can for you. And again, this will be for free here on YouTube, one video a week. Now that doesn't mean we're gonna be making one video a week. We're working together to finish this course as fast as possible. So if one video a week doesn't cut it for you, you have two other options. Option one, you can sign up for This Is IT. On This Is IT, we're uploading the course as we make it, which will normally amount to a couple videos a day. So check that out, link below, thisisit.io. We're also selling the course on Udemy for $10. So if you're watching this video after November 2020, it's probably already there and live, so link below. So anyways, Security Plus, let's talk about it. So real quick, who is the Security Plus for? The answer is you. If you want to get into IT, or you've already started down the path and you're fairly new, if you want to be a hacker, whatever, Security Plus is for you. Whenever someone asks me, hey, what certification should I get to become a network admin or L Linux admin or whatever, I normally, usually, always include the Security Plus. It's just one of those certifications that has, again, the core skills you need. It's like math in school. You just have to know it. Now, another question, are you ready for the Security Plus? CompTIA wants you to have two years of experience with a security focus and your network plus. I think that's a bit much. Because honestly, I didn't have that when I first took my Security Plus back in like 2010. I would say at minimum, A plus level knowledge. What does that mean? The CompTIA A plus certification. It's another one of those certifications that's a base level knowledge, teaches you about desktop repair, computers, servers, cloud, prerequisite knowledge you need to move up. Now I say level because it's not required to have that cert. If you've been doing IT for six months to a year, I think you'll be fine for the Security Plus. Now what can you do with it? pretty much anything you want. Like I said, it's one of those certifications that is like a stepping stone to any IT job role. And right now I'm getting a ton of people asking me, hey, which hacking certification should I start with? CEH, OSCP, Pen Test Plus. I always say, hey, uh, do you have Security Plus? That's where you wanna start. So if you're asking me that question, there's your answer. Now with the Security Plus, what are you gonna learn? Like, are you gonna be a full-fledged hacker? Can you walk out of here and say, I'm a security master? No, it's baseline skills you'll learn skills that you can build on top of. Now, I love certifications like the Security Plus because it allows you to kind of dip your toe in the water of a ton of different security areas. And what that does for you is as you go through all these things, you might pick one area that you fall in love with. Maybe it was the attacks and vulnerabilities and hacking and penetration testing. So you're like, yes, I want to become a hacker. That's my thing. So you take those skills, those baseline skills you learn in Security Plus, and you move up to CEH, Pentest Plus, or it might be that you loved the networking side of things. You loved learning how to defend a network. So maybe you want to become more of a network engineer and maybe network security, get your CCMP security. So it's kind of like a sample platter. It gives you a ton of knowledge you need to know, but it also kind of gives you that good test to see what you might fall in love with because you will fall in love with something. Trust me, it's awesome. All of it's so much fun. Why do you think I want to teach it? I can't wait to make these videos. Now let's talk about the new exam. The old exam code is the SY0-501. The new one is SY0-5, or sorry, 601. Now two things I wanna get out of the way real quick. First, my free course I'm working on with Jeremy Chara and David Bombal. Which one is it going to cover? The old one or the new one? The answer is both. Now we're definitely targeting the new one because the new one's gonna be around for a lot longer, but also there's a ton of information overlap. Yes, there is a difference between those two exams. And we'll talk about that here in a moment. There will be new things that are brought into the 601 exam. Now I'll say this, it doesn't matter if you're studying for the old one or the new one, you can still watch our course and get some great stuff for your exam. Now, second thing, if you're currently studying for the old exam, should you stop and just study for the new exam? My answer is no, not unless you really want to. Again, my previous point, there's a ton of overlap in the exams. What you learn in the old one does still apply to the new one. There's just a few extra things you're gonna have to learn if you wanna be current. And if that's important to you, then you can learn those things afterwards. But you're studying for the old one right now, and you can still test on that until July 2021. That's when it retires. And I give this advice for anyone who's studying for a certification that's about to expire. If you have enough time to take it before it expires, 
keep going. And right now you do have plenty of time. Also, one more thing. Don't use this as an excuse to stop studying just to wait for new material to come out for the new exam. No, 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 don't do that. You'll be able to test on the new exam mid-November. Official training materials from CompTIA won't be available until mid-November. But don't wait to start studying for it. Again, there's a ton of overlap. So enough talking about that. Let's go actually look at the exam objective and see what's different, what's new. So looking at the Security Plus exam objectives, which is what you're going to be studying and learning and tested on when you take the exam, let's scroll down to the domains. And actually, before we hit that, a couple highlights. The max number of questions you can get is 90. You'll also get 90 minutes to take the test. So pace yourself. <laughs> you get about a minute per question. Passing score is a 750. And as of right now, the exam price is $349. Now, here are the five domains. And I think they put the most fun, enticing one right at the top, attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities. Like, that's going to be a lit module or a domain. And of course, that's the first one that me, David, and Jeremy will be bringing to you. So... That's going to be awesome. Now, this domain right here, attacks, threats, and vulnerabilities, is one of the main reasons we even need a new exam because our hackers are getting smarter. They're coming out with new attacks, new hacks that we have to learn and defend against. So when comparing the new exam to the old exam, the new exam is going to have a lot more attacks we have to learn about, which makes me excited. Like, I don't know about you, but that, I love that. <laughs> and if we scroll down to that section, we got a lot of stuff here from social engineering to malware password attacks. I mean, some of these you probably have seen on my channel if you've been following my hacking journey. Now, the main difference here between like the CEH is you don't have to learn how to do these attacks. You have to learn about them, what they entail, how to identify them. In fact, that's what the verbiage here says. Given a scenario, analyze potential indicators associated with network attacks. So it doesn't say you need to be able to do a network attack. That's the level next. So you want to have Security Plus. You want to have that under your belt. And when you move up to CEH, you get to learn how to do those attacks. Now, that doesn't mean that David Bomble, myself, and Jeremy aren't going to show you what those look like and maybe even, you know, show you how to do a few of these. We can't help ourselves. But for the exam, you just have to be able to know what they are, analyze what they are, identify what they are. Now, the old exam had six domains versus the five we have here in our new one. It doesn't mean we have less to learn. In fact, the opposite is true. We have more to learn. Again, more attacks, more hacks. They just kind of reorganize the exam a bit. So beyond all these attacks and threats, what else is new? Well, not only are hackers, you know, becoming smarter and attacking us with new stuff, but they also have new things to attack. A huge focus on this exam is going to be the cloud. Now, the cloud did make an appearance on the previous exam, but it's uh, kind of a bigger deal nowadays. In fact, they're really focusing on hybrid cloud. And now, if you don't know what that means, you'll learn it on the Security Plus. It's part of the exam objectives to learn the different cloud technologies and the different ways you can implement the cloud. But I'll go over it real quick. So traditionally, companies just have their, their infrastructure, their servers, their routers, their switches, and their own data center, what we call on-prem or on-premises, or premises, however you say it. I don't know. Comment below what you think it is. But then in comes the cloud. And instead of companies putting their stuff on their own servers, they'll put their applications, their databases, their websites on someone else's server, like Amazon's and AWS. And that's essentially all the cloud is. It's just someone else's server that you're renting space on. So the big three players, we got Amazon, AWS, we got Microsoft Azure, we have Google Cloud. They have amazing services that allow us to basically rent their servers and put our stuff up there. And when we say hybrid cloud, we mean companies aren't putting everything up in the cloud. It can get pretty expensive. So they might keep some of their stuff on-prem in their own data center and they put other stuff in the cloud. So they're living in both worlds, which as you can imagine, adds some security complexity. We have to now learn how to defend both on-prem, the cloud, and everything in between. And you better believe hackers are trying to exploit that situation. That's why we're here learning about hybrid cloud. It's exciting. It's cool. And that's another reason we have a new exam. It's a new landscape we have to learn how to defend against. Another big one is IoT, Internet of Things. You know, your toilets and your toasters and all that. We're connecting those to the Internet because it's important. But IoT has the potential to be one of our biggest security risks because often IoT devices are kind of cheap. You might just have random IoT devices in your network and they could be, you know, hacked and used for whatever purpose the hacker has. So actually, I want to scroll down to the, that objective and show you what we're talking about here. This section is significantly larger compared to the old exam. The official section is the security implications of embedded and specialized systems. And I love that they include this right here. You know, I love this. The Raspberry Pi, Arduino. That's just fun. I love that. And then of course we have our IoT specific devices, sensors, smartwatches, wearables, facility autom automation, weak defaults, which might mean default username and password, which happens a lot. And then I love that they include 5G, uh, Zigbee, <laughs> drones, which yeah, you gotta think about drones. <laughs> and the biggest enemy, multifunction printers. And no, I'm just kidding, I, but I'm, I'm sure they can be, I mean, they connect to the Wi-Fi, so they could be hacked. Steal all your ink. And real quick, before I forget, I do want to mosey on over to the cloud section because there's some stuff I want to talk about. Look how large the section is on cloud now. We're learning about securing 
the individual components of the cloud. Because we in cloud, we have networks, right? We've got virtual networks. We're learning how to secure the compute options, containers, Docker, storage. So it is a crazy new, exciting landscape. Now, the IT industry as a whole has been changing quite a bit. We don't always do things the same way now. If you were a network engineer, you might be typing in the command line most of your day. Now you might be learning Python and creating scripts. Same goes for system admins, working with PowerShell. Which brings me to another section I wanted to show off real quick. They want you to know how to use PowerShell and Python, or at least be aware of those tools to access organizational security, which basically means just accessing things. So using SSH, using PowerShell, using Python, knowing how to scan networks. I mean, come on, look at this stuff. This is so fun. Well, I better stop or I'm gonna give away the whole course right now on this video. So I gotta calm myself down. So the new Security Plus is exciting because it's meeting the new demands we have for security. We have new attacks. We have new things that can be attacked. It's our job to learn about these, be aware of these attacks, know what they look like. It's also our job to fall in love with a certain area of IT and take those security skills and just go crazy. Now, again, this exam will be released mid-November, so you can test on the sucker mid-November. At the same time, CompTIA will be releasing their official courseware and resources to study up and get ready for it. So when those do come out, I'll put a link below. Now, again, I keep saying this over and over and over, but there is a ton of overlap between the old exam and the new exam. So if you want to start preparing for the new exam, study the old material. You can do that in a lot of areas in IT for a lot of certifications. So I do have links below for the CompTIA's current courseware for their 501 exam, and a ton of the stuff applies. If you're not sure, then look at the exam objectives. Pull up the old one, pull up the new one. I got links for those below as well. And you can see how certain modules apply. And again, this is episode zero of the free Security Plus course that I'm working on with David Bomble and Jeremy Chara. We're releasing a video every single week for free. And if you can't wait for that, then we have this is it.io below. We'll be posting every video as we make it, which will be a lot every week. And we should have the full course ready by the end of November, which you can buy on Udemy for $10. Now you might be wondering, why are we putting this for free on YouTube? And why are we selling the entire course for a low price? Well, that's part of the this is it mission. We want to make training like this training that equips you and makes you awesome, takes you down the path of IT. We want it to be more freely available and available at a lower cost. And what this doesn't mean is that we're just posting garbage online. Like, no, we're putting our heart and soul into making this course awesome. And between myself and David and Jeremy, we have just decades and decades of experience and training in IT. So I'm excited to work on this course. I'm excited to work with Jeremy and David. It's gonna be awesome. Anyways, guys, that's all I got. Free Security Plus. Let me know what you think below. Are you excited? I hope so. <laughs> we're excited. If you like this video, don't forget to like it. If you like what I'm doing here, well then, you know, hit that subscribe button. And if you wanna follow David Bomble or Jeremy Chara, they both have amazing, wonderful YouTube channels. Link below. And yeah, that's all I got. I'll catch you guys next time.